Okay, I'll be back in a few seconds, okay? Well, a few minutes. Don't stand up. Did you hear the door? I'm gonna go check on Jacob. Tessa's back. Your sister's down there if you want to say hi. Uh, no, I, I want to get this done. Well, tell Tess to stick around, though. We haven't had a good family dinner in a while. Should I tell Chloe to stay then? No, let's just make it us and the kids. Shouldn't those go the other way around? What do you mean? It's getting colder. He'll need a sweater soon. Emma, Jacob doesn't need that. <laughs> Since when do you know what he needs? Okay. Okay. 
making tacos. No, don't. They were his favorite. Can you set the table? I'm not hungry. Tess, please don't start. Can you just set the table? I'd like to just sit down and have some food with my family. Jeez, oh, okay. Hi, sweetie. How was the country? There was a family of raccoons in the tree next to our camp. Mm. The babies were super cute. <laughs> hey, you only set three? What am I supposed to do? Tess. Seriously, what's wrong? Nothing, honey. Please just sit down. Tessa, do the cutlery. Why, Dad? So you can set a place for Jacob? Well, what's going on? Yeah. What is going on for fuck's sake? Tessa! Ray, you're spilling the food! This place is God mental! God damn it, stop it! Are you just gonna okay, go I mean along it. with I mean this? I mean it, okay, enough! Oh, Jacob is yes. not here, Emma! Get out of here! She's gone! Tess, get out, go! I mean it! Why is everybody yelling? The residence of Raymond A. Doust? Yeah, that's my dad. Is he in? I'd like to speak with him. Dad! Is this about Jacob? We already told you guys everything. Just some standard follow up questions, miss. Miss. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Ray. Officer Bailey. Come on in. I need a little background information on your son's file. Do you have a moment? I thought we did this all already. Should I get my wife? No, sir. She's got to speak with you. Do you want to sit down? It shouldn't take too long. So, am I correct in saying that you were married to Tamara Stevens in 1999? Yeah, why? What's going on? When was the last time you saw Miss Stevens? When she left me my two-year-old daughter with nothing but a note. And when was that? 2003, why? They've been in contact with her since. Only by mail, when we exchanged divorce papers, when I married Emma. Okay, where was she at that time? Well, I mailed it at her mother's, but I doubt she was living there. They never got along. Why are you asking about her? We haven't been able to locate Miss Stevens beyond 2003. Do you have any idea why we'd have trouble in trying to find her records? I have no idea, no. Sir, do you realize you're the last person we have any evidence of being in contact with Miss Stevens? I didn't know that. Why would I know that? What are you implying? I'm not implying anything, okay? I'm just trying to verify some facts. All I know is that she left a little daughter, and that's unforgivable. She abandoned her to shack up with some douchebag. After four months, she met that guy. Our family was over. Sir. So maybe you should go ask him what Sir. she is. Hey, remain calm, okay? Look, what's this guy's name? Trevor Rawson. Trevor Rawson? Mm -hmm. right. I'll look into it. Do you or your family plan on leaving town anytime soon? Well, we're moving, but we're staying in town. Okay, just be sure to update at the station with your address, all right? Am I being investigated for something? I can't speak to that, sir. Just we can reach you for next time. Fine. Well, if you find Tammy, tell her she owes me about 200 months of child support. Will do. and insinuating fucked up shit. Like we're on stress enough. We gotta do their job for them. I mean, figure it out yourself before coming over here while we're fucking grieving. How hard is it, eh? To find someone. She must have a driver license or something. Did you hear the bullshit? They wanna know about Tammy all of a sudden. What's going on? Are you okay? I just saw... What? Jake. He, he, 
he reached out to me. He he made a sign right what right sign? here. What? On one of his his device things, the, the machine, the robot knocked that over and and then came over here and then these all rolled over here. And, and he's here. He, he's talking to us. Emma. Emma. Okay. Stop I, it, I know. Please. I know. It, it sounds like Emma. I he's can't, here. Please. He's he's okay. Dream. I. I'm not saying things. It, it just happened. You think I just set this up? I'm not saying that you just did anything. I'm just saying that you're very tired. We're all tired. And we need to get out of here. No, I'm not moving anymore. Jacob is here and he, he's, he's talking to us. We need to listen to him. Okay, it's not a good time for you to make decisions. I'm not a fucking child. And I'm, I'm not crazy. I mean, look at this. Okay, okay. I know this looks like something to you. Jesus, Ray! Just open your mind for half a second! Since the funeral, he's um, he's not coping too well. Uh, I'm glad to see you. Come on in. You want a beer? Jer, how about some juice? That'd be great. Jer? No. No what? No juice. No thank you, Mr. Dost. I'm sorry, man. It doesn't matter. Ever since everything... Amy gives him license to be a little prick and I can't say anything. I mean, hey, we're lucky to have him. Sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Shit. Come on, man, don't start being weird. We always talk about what little drugs they are. Nothing has to change. Yeah, but everything has changed. Hey, speaking of change, do you remember Janice from the fruit market? Mm -hmm. She got new tits. <laughs> Exactly how much bigger are they, Tom? Hi, Emma. Sorry. Jeremy. 
me. What are you doing in here? I'm so sorry. I just tend to get away from you. What are you doing uninvited in Jacob's room? What do you say, bud? Sorry, Mrs. Dow. <sighs> okay, come on. Come on. I'm sorry again. He just, he misses his friend, you know? Hey, uh, Amy and I would love to have you and Ray over. Just say when's good, okay? Tom on the head. I, I didn't. It wasn't me. I, is he okay? Tom? Are you okay? Sorry about that. I really got beamed. <laughs> Silly me. It was a mistake. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, say hi to Amy. Oh, he's pissed. Emma, come on. <laughs> Ray, it was Jacob. Okay, just listen to me. I, I, I came in, and he was playing with Jeremy. I, go ask him. I'm not crazy. And, and just now, he threw the ball out the window. <laughs> and hit Tom on the head. Why would he do that? Well, I think he, he took Jeremy, in, and, and Jacob wants to play. But, hey, honey? Do, do you want to play with any of these guys? Or, or how about the dinosaurs? He's okay, Ray. He's here, and... He's telling me he's here and he's safe. Um, I just talked to Mr. Bennett outside. Did you hit him in the head with a ball? <laughs> Never mind, sweetheart. Would you mind cleaning that up for me? Sure. Your brother nailed Tom in the head. <laughs> Emma, you're letting yourself getting sucked into this. Attends. Why is the city calling me? Hello. Speaking? Oh yeah, hi. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, that's what I figured. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, you know, actually I'm very happy she's okay, but there must have been a better way to get that information than no, no. Uh, all I'm saying is, it was, you know, invasive the way you showed up and the questions were intense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, d'accord, d'accord, d'accord. I get it. Mm hmm. But. Okay, thanks. Tabarnak. What's going on? Uh, that was that cop that came around the other day looking for Tammy. And? Nothing. It's exactly what I thought. Married to that fucking guy, they're having kids and everything. <laughs> so why did they, they even... Were, well, she's using his name now, and they were, they were looking under the old one, idiots. Oh. God damn it. Ah. Oh. Ouch. Are you okay? I am fine, fuck. Dad? Dad? What? Can you come here for a minute? Yeah. So I have brothers and sisters somewhere? You heard that? And the cop the other day. <sighs> That's a lot. Yeah. I didn't want to burden you with all that. You don't have to protect me anymore. I'm pretty much an adult now. I wish you could have more time being a kid. Are 
Are you okay? Honestly, I can't even get upset about this anymore. I'm just cried out. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm so sorry I didn't protect Jacob. It was my job to keep him safe. in the same void. Notice how familiar it is to you. How cherished it is. Now, break through the void and be present. Give yourself permission to feel. You are fully prepared for this journey. Don't fight what you are seeing or feeling. Allow yourself to feel fully any emotions that arise, any images to come to your consciousness. Whatever memories or images are arising, cherish them in the same way you cherished your void. They both live in the same place. The presence of your lost loved one has been there waiting for you at the center of the void. This is the center. What has this presence told you? You know down to the very core of your being that this presence cannot and would not lie to you.
Thank you.